dry mouth caused by radiation and xerostomia is a significant lifelong side effect for many of our head and neck cancer patients. Uh, xerostomia affects dental health, it affects speech and swallowing, uh, it affects uh, sleep, uh, ability to work and communicate, uh, and it affects just overall well-being uh, of patients. And essentially the only effective treatments we have today are to avoid radiation to the glands, uh, which is a great goal, but frankly is not uh, possible in many of our patients because the head and neck is a pretty small area and the cancers that we treat uh, tend to be located in close proximity to the salivary glands. And then the best thing that I often tell my patients is carry a water bottle with you. Uh, eat food that is moist as opposed to breads or dried foods or certain types of meat that uh, really require a lot of saliva to uh, you know sort of chew and swallow um, and those aren't great options for patients uh, that, that's really you know from a, a 21st century medicine standpoint that's pretty basic uh, and so our hope is that we can uh, use this approach, uh, taking a patient's uh, bone marrow, isolating these mesenchymal stromal cells, growing them up uh, in the lab, and then injecting them into the salivary glands to sort of reinvigorate the gland. Uh, the approval that we got uh, from the FDA over the past month uh, is essentially to do that in a controlled uh, environment in a clinical trial that's really focused on is this a safe approach to take. Um, mesenchymal stromal th therapy or cell therapy like this has been used in a number of different diseases but it uh, our particular approach to it has not been used in humans yet uh, and so I want to be really uh, cautious about you know, saying we want to make sure it's safe first, and after we know it's safe, then we want to see if it's effective. Uh, and so, you know, the approach that we're taking is uh, a very common approach in cancer research where, you know, the first study is a safety study, um, really going, initially going one patient at a time, uh, you know, doing the treatment, following them for a month, making sure it's safe, then it, taking the next patient, uh, and, and so on for the first five patients. Uh, and then if we get a good sense that it is safe, that there's not a lot of side effects, uh, starting to expand what we do, uh, increasing the amount of the cells that we give to patients, uh, and ultimately uh, starting to take a look at, does this work? Uh, you know, I, I wish that I could say that we're a year away from having a great treatment that works for a lot of patients, but the fact is that we're probably five years away from that. Um, and that's just the pace of medical research.